All right. So, when I was about seven years old, I was getting ready for bed. You know those old Disney cartoons that played late at night? Well, I was watching that as I was trying to fall asleep in my bed when all of a sudden I felt like a weight drop beside me. So I look over and there's a man in overalls with a red and black flannel and muddy boots. He had a long beard, no glasses, and was laying with his arms across his chest. At first I thought it was my dad because my dad has a long beard and he works second shift anyway. So I remember going over there trying to push him awake and he felt really cold so I went and I touched his beard and it didn't feel like my dad's beard. So I got off the bed and I flipped on the light and when I looked back at the bed, he was gone. So first I was all like, oh, that was weird. I was only seven years old, so I didn't understand. I thought it could have been my dad maybe, but I didn't see him walk out the door or anything. So I get back in bed and I look around me a little bit as I'm trying to fall asleep. But that's when I hear my dad coming in from work at the back door. And that's when I knew for sure that it wasn't my dad and it wasn't human. So I used to live in this house. It was like down the road from a graveyard. And it was about every night I would look out there and I would just come out and see the graveyard in full moonlight and stuff. Well, not every night, but whenever it was bright enough out. There were some nights where I would look out there and I always kind of saw this shadow of an Indian looking guy in the distance of the woods. It was always creepy because I would see that guy from time to time and he would kind of just walk back and forth I also remember one time I got freaked the hell out because whenever I looked out the window, it wasn't all the way down at the graveyard. It was on the edge of my yard, staring at me. I reside in a bustling city where Lyft and Uber are frequently used, especially during the lively nightlife. Last week, I planned to meet my friends at a downtown bar and opted for a lift to avoid the hassles of parking and the risks of drunk driving. The lift arrived about 10 minutes after I ordered it. To my surprise, the driver was an elderly man, possibly in his 70s, with a thick accent and a frail demeanor. Strangely, his age and frailty provided a sense of reassurance that I usually wouldn't have felt with an unknown male driver at night. I greeted him with a friendly, good evening, but received no reply. Normally, I'd put on my headphones to avoid conversation, but since he was quiet from the start, I didn't feel the need. Approximately five minutes into the ride, he turned up the volume on his stereo and inserted a CD. Suddenly, I heard moaning noises, and I looked up from my phone, initially thinking he was playing adult films. However, it turned out to be a song, with the entire background noise consisting of moaning. The lyrics were even more unsettling, prompting me to put in my headphones and listen to my own music. As we approached my destination, he took a wrong turn into a poorly lit, one-way street. My senses were on high alert, and I turned down my music. He slowed down to the point where I thought he might stop the car. At this moment, I unbuckled my seatbelt, preparing to run if necessary. He then turned around, staring at me without uttering a word. Fearing the worst, I called my friend, informed her of my proximity, and asked her to meet me outside. Finally, he returned to the main street and we reached my destination. When I tried to open the door, I realized he had activated the child lock the entire time. Fortunately, my friend recognized me and opened the door. I left promptly and before doing anything else, reported him on the app. Fortunately, nothing untoward happened, but the entire encounter was bizarre and gave me a chilling feeling. 